need to reveal what kind of belt you have on. <laughs> <laughs> We have a great guest coming up. She graduated from Yale, but instead of pursuing what most people would call a great career, she became a magician. So let's bring out Jen Kramer. Come on, tell us about this story. Hey. Right on, it's a pleasure. Hello. Hi, guys. OK, so I didn't have a belt on before the show. That is, wow. I want you to know, I'm not the guy that makes these bold statements. Do you know, like, I'm not a bold statement on a belt. Yeah. The first time we met, so wow. I don't want you to think, like, oh, he thinks he's a pimp, you know? I mean, got to bring my belt game next time just to, yes, just to compete yeah. here. You remember before you went on Penn and Teller how you got nervous how they were fixing your hair? <laughs> that, that did that Yeah, did it's going to happen again. OK. Yeah. You OK? Thank you, guys. Right. OK, Thank so you guys. before we do this magic trick, you were, on, sure. you were on the Penn and Teller show. I was. And you were telling me about What's it like being on the side of the stage before you go out? <laughs> we were just chatting about this. It's fun. It's nerve-wracking. It's exciting. It's uh, wonderful. It's, it's like a crazy scene. You know, they've got the makeup person, the hair person. You're like going through in your head what you're about to do. It's like 73 different things happening all at the same time. It's pretty much it. OK. So thank you for recreating yeah, that I think you're adequate. As long as you're adequately thrown off now, I'm ready to go. Yeah, bring back memories. <laughs> okay. There you go. So I you're, wasn't expecting that. You're a world-famous magician, magic me. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, first, Dylan, I want to say thank you for having me here on the Downtown Podcast. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank thank you. you. Right here on the Downtown Podcast. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's real. That's a real card. It's a real card. It's a real card. <laughs> it doesn't like disintegrate when you hold it, I promise. It's no, real. it's real. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Oh, it's so not Dylan, okay. because, because you are the famous host of this show, yeah. I was hoping I could ask you for your autograph. Would that be cool? Oh, it's never okay. happened before. Yeah? All right. Well, Dylan, This is actually can, the first autograph I've ever done, yeah. Really? Yeah. This is such an no, honor. No, I can't even believe I'm here. But you're famous in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't get to the Philippines. <laughs> we assume we're famous over there, but none of us can afford to go. <laughs> I, you know, okay. I, was, I was telling Dylan, they have to do like a live tour, like a downtown podcast live tour in the Philippines. I we do. That'd be we great. do. That's good. Great success. We're bringing all yeah. of you with us. <laughs> <laughs> So ready, Dylan? You can grab that. We have a whole deck of cards here, all different. Take out any one you want. You can pick one you like. It, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. It's up to you. Pick one that, that calls to you. Oh, the Ace of Hearts. Very nice. Good, it's a good love, choice. It's a love card. Good choice. And I would love your autograph on this. So I, I brought this uh, Sharpie marker. Love card. Perfect. I just went through a painful breakup. It's all right. Ah. So just my name? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Anything you want. You can draw a picture if you feel like it. Sheets of paper since oh, wow. a kid. Oh, uh, that's a monster trick. Oh, wait, am I supposed to a tell you? <laughs> wait, did that just spoil it? No, this is great. Because I'll add wings to it or something. I have to say, nobody, that throws this it is up. great. Nobody's okay. ever drawn a monster truck before. Yeah. I love there you it. go. Oh, it's It's the beautiful. first autograph I've ever given. Absolutely to somebody who beautiful. actually asked. Yeah. Look at that. All right. <laughs> now, it's a real Sharpie, too. It's a the, real Sharpie. By the smell, I know. It is, yeah. it is. <laughs> The yeah. reason that I have you draw this, this beautiful monster truck, is because sometimes people think that a magician will switch in a duplicate card. So I want to make sure that, of course, this is Dylan's card from beginning to end. We'll keep it really straightforward. Do the trick with just one card. We're going to fold the card just like this, just a corner of it. Here you go. OK. We're going to fold it back and forth a few times. That will make it easier for us to tear it off. We're going to make a nice, clean tear in a moment. We'll yeah, fold like it back fair. and forth, back and forth. And Dylan, would you like to do the honors, actually? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll start it off for you, but make sure you really feel that tearing right off, yeah. Feel it. Feel it, feel it. Oh, that's... Yeah, oh yeah, that is really tearing off, right? Yeah. So we've got the corner of your uh, Ace of Hearts right there. Yeah, I'm going to side. take that, place it inside my back pocket, just like this. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Check this out. We'll take it butt. invisibly. <laughs> take it invisibly from the pocket, watch, <laughs> and throw it until it fuses right back onto one card. What? Dylan, with your monster truck on it. <laughs> Thank you. And this is for you. It's a souvenir for you. What? Presents. Talk about Masters of Illusion. Yeah, so this summer, tune in, CW Network. Um, I'll be on Masters of Illusion, along with a lot of other really cool magicians. Uh, we had fun. We just shot it a couple weekends ago in LA. So it's kind of fresh in my mind. Yeah, it was, it was, a, 
It was a, a lot of fun. What's it going to be? Tell, what's, this, what's it like? Is it like Penn and Teller's show, or is it going to be separate? Similar. So this one, it's not a competition show. It's more of a showcase of magic. So it's, it's lots of magicians doing different things. Yeah. Illusions, mentalism. And you said as a kid you went to band, not band camp, but <laughs> magic camp, right? <laughs> magic, magic camp, camp. right? Uh, magic camp's great. Actually, since you mentioned band camp, so on our t-shirts, they said, uh, and, this, and this one time at magic camp, dot, dot, dot. So. That's good, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. It was fun. Good. But magic camp was great. It was, uh, let's see, I started going when I was like 13 or 14, went for a few summers, and it was like 101 guys and I think seven of us girls. Oh. So we can each go, have like 11, that, yeah. 12 boyfriends, <laughs> you know. But does anything ever happen that is unexpected? Anybody ever come in? All the time. So. Yeah. At the moment, I'm doing a show at the Wyndham Grand Desert Resort and at Marriott's Grand Chateau. So those are kind of my regular gigs. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I was doing the, the regular shows here in town. And I do uh, an effect where someone signed Bill ends up inside of a lemon. Some of the magicians in the crowd might, might know, the, know the effect. Are there magicians in the crowd? Yes. Oh, there's a group of magicians here? Yeah, they came for you. This is the crossover. So uh, unexpected moment. So I'm doing this Bill and, Bill and Lemon trick. And there's a point in the routine where the person's $100 bill disappears. Nice. Uh, and so like, they're looking in the bag where they put it. It's not there. So I go, well, welcome to Vegas. <laughs> it's a little up. And then I turned around for a split second to put away the Sharpie marker in, in the case. And when I turn back, like half a second later, this guy who I have up on stage, just like from the audience, yeah, completely yeah. normal looking, like <laughs> middle-aged guy and like slacks in a sweater. He had pulled out in that like 0.3 seconds, had pulled out like a pair of handcuffs and so like a police flashlight. So I turn around and, and I've done this trick like you know a few hundred times and this has never happened. So I turn around and I'm like, um, like is this a like handcuffs you expect me now? Like what is this? Right? Like what's going to happen? Jail? Here? Yeah, who what's knows? The situation? But it was it was really funny, right? And the audience was laughing and, and like we had a funny banter moment there. And then after the show, he comes up and introduces himself. Turns out he is an agent in the FBI. Oh. <laughs> after that show, it was a Wednesday. I do two shows on Wednesdays, one at Marriott, one at Wyndham. This happened at Marriott. I go to Wyndham that night feeling like on top of the world because this hilarious thing just happened at the show with this guy in the handcuffs. And I show up, and I, and I walk on stage and start talking, and I get like these blank looks. I'm like, what, what is it? And the room is full, and uh, I, I realize I, I say, you know, hi, how, how are you doing? Nothing. Turns out the whole audience is two big groups. One is from Korea, okay. and the other is from Brazil okay. and speaks Portuguese. And then there's like one couple from Ohio. <laughs> so, right in the middle, so just totally just, out just of like place. Right in the back. Yeah. So like the show had a lot more interpretive dance than usual. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, the big topic everybody loves to tell your story is that you graduated from Yale. So you had a lot of choices to do other things. Just talk to me about why you're pursuing your passion and what your other life could have been. Sure, sure. Uh, well, I've always loved magic. I started when I was a kid. And, magic uh, camp, yeah. Magic camp, yeah. yeah. Good old days. Yeah. And you know, my parents always told me growing up, like, find something that you're really passionate about doing, something you really love to do, and you'll excel at it because you know, you'll work really hard. And what do they do? Are they magicians? They're not magicians, no. Okay. no they they uh, follow their dreams, though? <laughs> Or they have boring jobs and they're like living vicariously through you. No, no, they they're like uh, please. <laughs> they're both uh, both lawyers by background. They're oh yeah, yeah. Talent yeah. management, well, yeah. They're business, talent representation. But uh, so they, they always told me like <laughs> follow you know follow what you're passionate about and you'll make it work because right, you'll work yeah. really hard at it and uh, you know I definitely took that to heart and so you know I went to Yale and, and wouldn't trade that experience for anything. But uh, then when my friends were interviewing for jobs in you know i banking and consulting. I thought, you know, if there's a time in my life to just take a risk and do the thing that I really, really love to do, this is the time to do yeah, it. Yeah, it's true. So, uh, Give it up for it. It's true, really yeah. Happy. Thank you. It's, it's really true. Thank you. I like that last It's fine. OK, so magicofgen.com is a website where people can learn more about where you are. So you're going to be performing Absolutely. here in Vegas. I'm sure people can come visit you. Um, yeah, so the shows I'm doing at the moment are uh, open just to the hotel guests, but I'll definitely post on social media. Facebook, Twitter, uh, about any upcoming shows, and would okay. love for you guys to come. Tell these guys that you're a magician in Swahili. Mimi ni mwana mazingamble. Give it up. That's how you do it. Thank you so much for coming out. We so appreciate much. it. Thank you, Had a great time. <laughs> Give it up one last time for Jen Thanks, Kramer. It's a pleasure. Thank <laughs> Thanks for coming down, Tom. Man.
That was so much fun. That was so much fun. I don't know.